Hey warriors, we are starting back with our mythological creatures today and um, I'm super excited about this one because you know what this guy is, a dragon and all of my Kempe house friends, we're gonna draw a dragon today. So um, me being in Kempe, of course, this is like my favorite of the mythological creatures, but um, he's really fun to draw for everybody. So I'm excited to draw this with you guys today. And so go ahead and get your paper. And I suggest today, he's kind of, he's upright, he's flying, he's in flight, but he's upright tall. So I suggest you have your paper up and down tall today. And so we will just go ahead and jump right in. There's a lot to draw. So I'm gonna start his eye, not in the middle of the paper. I'm gonna go up and over a little bit. And guys, you're gonna wanna make a super, super small, small eye, okay? Don't make an eyeball like this big. He's definitely not gonna fit. So go with a really small curve line to start off his eye, kind of towards the corner of the paper. And you guys know what to do. Go ahead and curve it underneath. You can fill this in right now, or if you want, you could leave his eye and color it in. I saw lots of artists, uh, renderings of dragons with red eyes or bright glowing blue eyes or green eyes or something. So if you wanna leave it and, and not do it black and do it like a different color, that'd be way cool too. It's up to you. Now we are gonna go ahead and make a curve line over his eye. So I'm going to make a curve line over his eye and it might come back just a little ways. I looked at a lot of pictures of dragons and of course they're artists, what artists created because dragons are in real life. Um, but a lot of them have many similarities. A lot of the dragons that I saw have sort of long snouts they have horns, they have like big pointy ears and wings. There are some similarities, but of course you make your dragon however you want because there's no right or wrong, definitely. They're not real, so make it exactly how you want. I'm just gonna give you kind of an outline and some ideas of similarities that dragons have. You make it your own. You make it exactly how you want, okay? So anyways, like I said, most of the dragons that I saw, they have these long snouts. So I'm gonna make a slanted line for that long snout coming down and it's just sort of gonna slant. I mean, it can be straight out or it can slant. It really doesn't matter. But I'm gonna make that long straight line. And then on the end, they all have like these big nostrils because why, why do you think? Dragons breathe fire, right? And fire can come out of their nostrils. So I'm gonna make this bump on the end for that big nostril. And it's just gonna kind of curve in like that for the end of his snout. Most of the dragons that I saw, they have sort of this um, point to the end of their mouth. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make a skinny little tip on the end. So I'm just going to make it skinny back up. And then it's going to come back for his mouth. So I'm just going to sort of make a curve line back for his mouth. Now, before I forget, go ahead and add that nostril in that bump that you made. Go ahead and add that nice big nostril. You can make it a curve line, you can make it kidney bean shaped or whatever shape you want for his big nostril on the end. Now we're gonna make the bottom part of his chin. We've got the top part of his mouth. Now we're gonna make the bottom part of his chin. I'm gonna come back a little ways because I want that point to be hanging over like that. So I'm gonna come back a little ways and I'm just gonna make a little short straight line that comes down. And then for his chin, we're just gonna kind of make it curve back. It can be curved, it can be straight. Make it how you want, okay? Oh, and if you like, a lot of the artists' um, renderings that I saw of dragons, they have like beards hanging down. If you wanna add a beard on the bottom of his chin, you can make it smooth, you can make it sort of curved like this and bumpy, but you can make like this little beard hanging down if you'd like, it's up to you. Now, let's go back up to the top of his head, right behind his eye, you see where I stopped this line? That's where this ear is gonna be pointing out. It can touch this line or it can just be kind of hanging out. But close to this uh, line, I'm gonna make his ear. And I saw most of the dragons I've seen have like big pointy ears. So I'm gonna make a nice big pointy ear to uh, finish off. And then, oh, if you wanna make it double on the inside to show the inside of his ear, you could certainly do that. From his ear, I'm gonna come up from the bottom just a little bit and I'm gonna make the top curve line for his head. So I'm gonna stick pretty close to the curve that I have and I'm just gonna make it curve over what I've got and make it just touch. Wherever it touches is fine. And then you can add some horns. These horns kind of curve back this way 
If you wanted horns to curve more up, I've seen pictures of both. Make it how you want, but go ahead and add some horns. Oh, and I've also seen some dragons with more like deer antlers. They kind of curve and then they have, they kind of branch out like a little tree, like antlers do. You could make that kind. There's certainly no right or wrong way to do it. I think since I have curved antlers or curved horns going this way, I think on my drawing that I'm doing here, I'm gonna curve them more up and back like this and just double it, nice and skinny. And then you could even maybe see another horn, the other horn on the other side just barely poking out. So you can make one or two, it's up to you. And probably his ears are so big, you would see on the other side, the other ear sort of sticking out, barely just kind of see that other ear sticking out. So add a curve line up and back down. Now, again, Similarities, similarities with dragons that I've seen, a lot of them have long necks, okay? So you can make it a long neck dragon. I was running, I knew that I was gonna run out of room on my example here, so I made a shorter neck. It's up to you. If you've got tons of space on your page still, make it a longer neck if you want. If you were thinking, oh, I'm not gonna be able to fit them all on, just make it a shorter neck, it's no big deal. So, to make that neck, oh, first we gotta finish off the set. I'm gonna make this curve line for his jaw. So starting not at the end of this line, but over just a little ways, I'm just gonna make a curve line that comes back and it's gonna come up and it can touch the ear or it can stop before it reaches the ear, it's up to you, but we're gonna show his jaw to finish off his head. And then we're gonna start that neck, right kind of where the ear touches the head, right about there. I'm gonna make my first curve line down for however long you want the neck to be. Like I said, it can be long or short, whatever you want. And then we're gonna double it. So about the middle of the jaw, just kind of guess, and I'm just gonna make it double. Now we are gonna go ahead and show his arm. So I'm gonna make this curve line for like his shoulder for the top of his arm. So somewhere, you know, see, find where these two lines have ended and somewhere around here, and it's not gonna be perfect, but somewhere around here, I'm just gonna make a little curve line for the top of his shoulder. And then I'm gonna make it come down a little ways. This is now the top part of his arm and his arm is sort of bent. So we're making the top part of his arm. So I'm gonna make it come down a little ways and I'm gonna double it down a little ways on that side. And then it's kind of curved forward for the lower part of his arm. So I'm just gonna curve it forward. And we're gonna add little fingers. He's got, the, not fingers, but claws, like dragon claws. So I'm just gonna kind of make him, make him down and back up nice and skinny. And down and back up. You definitely don't want these to be smooth and perfect. They very much look like, you know, creepy dragon claws. So down and back up. I could even make like a curved one coming back, like he's curved his claw a little bit. So make those claws and then bring it back up and touch. And of course, he needs those sharp like talons coming down. So we want to make nice, long, skinny curve lines for his little sharp, sharp claws. Now, before we get started on his body, let's go ahead and make the wings. They are attached to his arm. So from the top, we're going to go ahead and make a curve line that kind of curves up and out for his first wing. Of course, make it however big you have room for, however big you want the wing to be. So I'm just gonna start at the top though, and I'm gonna make it curve out and up for my wing, however long I want. And then I'm gonna keep it skinny, skinny and double it. So I'm just gonna start at the top there and just kind of follow along and let it get skinny, skinny, skinny and touch. Now we're gonna go ahead and show the sections of his wing with these thicker lines coming out and then we'll connect them for the edge of the wing. So I'm gonna come down a little ways and I'm gonna make a curve line that kind of comes out. And of course you can make it curved or you can make it straight. And then it sort of slants down. And same thing, we're just gonna double it nice and skinny to make it look a little thicker. We're just gonna double it. And then I'll come down a little ways and do the same thing. Maybe make it a little shorter. See how it's a little shorter, a little smaller. And then for the bottom, wherever his wing touches the shoulder, I'm just gonna make it a little smooth and short just for the very bottom of the wing. Then we're gonna connect with curve lines in between. So from the tip, I'm just gonna make it curve and connect. And look, I'm starting to run off my paper, guys. If you're starting to run off your paper, no big deal, of course. 
Just draw what you can, and then I'm gonna make it curve and touch, make it curve and touch. So we've got our first wing. Now we're gonna go ahead and draw the rest of his body, and then we're gonna show the other wing just barely peeking out. You don't see much of it, so it's kind of hiding behind his body. So let's go ahead and finish out the outline of his body. So we have got his neck on this back line. I'm gonna make it just touch the wing. That's all you need to do. And then for his belly, notice how his belly starts to curve forward a little bit. So I'm gonna keep it really close to my arm and I'm just gonna let it start to curve forward just a little bit and stop and jump over his arm. Now we're gonna make his leg. So behind his arm, see how his leg is kind of, cur it's, it's like bending up towards his wing. So, or towards his arm, so kind of close to his arm, I'm gonna make a kind of a slanted curve line for the top part of his leg. So watch before you make it. And it might run into the wing, it might not. Like on this one, see how I had to stop and jump over the wing a little bit? It might run into it, it might not. If it runs into it, just stop and jump over. Let's see, I think mine's gonna run into it on this one too. I'm gonna go ahead and make a curve line that slants up and it's gonna stop and jump over that wing if you need to and come back down. This is for the top part of his leg. Now this is gonna be weird. We're gonna make another curve line, sort of a slanted U, that's gonna start, look at this top line. I'm gonna go over just a little ways. That's where I know I'm gonna start it. And I'm gonna make a slanted U that curves down. And look, it's back up and it's not gonna to touch anything. So this line is not touching anything. This line is not touching anything. They're just both, they're kind of two C's that aren't touching each other. Now, on the bottom, on the very bottom right here, I'm gonna go ahead and slant his foot forward. So I'm gonna bring it forward and it's just gonna kind of dangle down, kind of curve down. And then you can add those long, creepy dragon toes. So I'm gonna make it skinny back up, don't touch. Another toe, skinny down, back up, don't touch. Maybe again, if you want this one more curved, you kind of make a curve line for the toe and then double that. And now we're gonna follow. So see where we have this curve line right here coming down? We're gonna follow that and then stop. Stop wherever it stops. And then it's gonna kind of curve a little bit further for the back, this is like his heel, the back part of his foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a little curve line for his heel. And then it's just gonna come right up and touch. Wherever it touches is fine. It's just gonna come right up and touch his leg. You can go ahead and add some of those toenails, those creepy long pointy toenails. And we're gonna add more detail here in just a minute. We're just getting the outline. So now I have got his leg. If your belly, look at his belly. If your belly is not already touching, like mine isn't already touching, so I need to make it a little longer to make sure it touches. Then we're gonna look at his back. I've got his neck started touching the wing. I'm gonna stop and jump over and I'm gonna make this, his, this curve line for his back. It's gonna be pretty close to the leg, but look, I'm gonna make sure it's not touching the leg. So I'm looking at this line, I'm gonna stop, jump over, and I'm gonna keep it pretty close to the leg, but I'm not gonna touch it and just gonna follow and kind of start to curve a little bit. And then we can add his tail. So look at his belly jump over his leg and make it just a little longer. And this is where his tail's gonna be. I'm starting to run out of room on my paper. You might be too. If you don't even see his tail, guys, it's no big deal, just leave it. Just sort of let it draw right off. Let's see, I'm gonna try to figure out how to fit mine just so you can kind of see. You can make it curved up, you can make it curved down and over, just wherever you have room. I think I have kind of more room if I curve mine down and over. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna curve mine sort of down and over like that. But if you are lucky and you have room, go ahead and make it curve up if you want. That's totally fine. And then I'm just gonna double it. And look, it's gonna start to get skinnier and skinnier for my dragon tail. And just double it like that. Like I said, we'll add more details here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and add his other um, arm and his other leg sticking out. We don't see too much of those, but we'll go ahead and add them. So a little bit above this arm that I've got right here, I'm gonna go a little bit above that and I'm just gonna make another slanted little foot or little hand sticking down. 
and it can be curved or it can be more straight down. It's up to you, but I'm going to add his fingers just like we've been doing. I'm going to make another curved finger up and just make it touch. And then add the nails. And then for the other foot, it's hanging more down. It's on the other side of his body, but this one's really curved up. This one is sort of hanging more down. So about wherever you see his belly touching this leg, that's about where I'm gonna start. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make a curve line that stops and jumps over whatever it runs into. And it's just gonna be a little bit below his foot, his other foot that's already there. And then I'm gonna make this foot really kind of hanging, slanting more down because his leg's kind of dangling. So I'm gonna slant it more down and then add my first toe, skinny back up. Add another dragon toe down, skinny back up. And then I'll make another one. It can be curved or it can be more straight, however you want. I'm gonna go ahead and slant this up and it's just gonna come over and just touch the foot wherever it needs to touch. And then you can make your toenails, those long creepy toenails. And we've got the basic body of our dragon. So now let's go ahead and think about some details. And guys, of course, you can add any details you want, right? Anything that you can imagine. You could add more of a beard. You could add fire. You could add, okay, so let's start. Let's just start to look. Down his back, you could definitely add like spiky scales. So that is a, a similarity that I've seen a lot of dragons have. They could be really long and pointy. They could be shorter and thicker. They could be both, you could have both kinds. Anything that you want, but go ahead and add something sort of down his back. And they might start to probably get skinnier, you know, as they and smaller as they reach the end, especially towards the tail. I'm gonna to start to make mine much smaller as I get down. They might even just disappear. Oh, before I forget, now that we added our spikes, we need to add the other side of the other, um, excuse me, the other wing on the other side of the spot. So, where his uh, wing touches his shoulder, we're gonna kind of look up, jump over one of those spikes. If you have spikes, you're gonna need to stop and jump over them. But I'm just gonna add another curve line going this way for his wing. And then skinny, skinny next to it, I'm gonna do another curve line coming down. Stopping and jumping over his spikes if you need to. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and swing it over. I'm gonna make a curve line over and it's just gonna disappear behind that one. That's all you need to do with that one, the way that it's bent. Okay, so now think about his belly. A lot of the dragon pictures that I saw um, that artists have made, they have sort of a different scale pattern on their belly. So you could definitely do like I did here and just sort of double his belly line and make these curve lines. You could do more. This guy has more like kind of sharp pointier scales along his belly, but a lot of times they do have different sort of a scale pattern along their belly. So think about doing that. So I'm just gonna double that belly line. And I could do maybe on this one, I just wanna do like angle lines or something. Maybe I want it to look more spiky. You could do smooth curve lines. You could do, you know, a series like little tiny curve lines, but I'm just gonna make his belly a little different all the way down, okay? And then think about the horns. Let's just come right back up to his face. You could add curve lines coming along the horns if you wanted to all the way across. I could do like little, you know, extra whiskers coming off the tips of his ears like that. You could add, you know, some whiskers coming off of his face like this if you wanted to. You could do, um, especially along his little fingers, you wanna make him look really scaly and, and, and scraggly, so you could definitely make little curve lines here and there on his fingers and on his toes. You could add some sort of patterning, um, some sort of scale pattern on his legs and on his arms. Maybe I wanna do curve lines, or you could do spiky pointy angle lines or something but I could add scales on his legs and on his um, arms if you wanted to. You could add some sort of pattern on his wings, guys. You could do, oh, you could do a tip to his tail 
if you wanted to. Like this guy doesn't have a tip to his tail, but if you wanted to show some sort of cool design on his tail, you could definitely do that. You could do just a circle or you could do flames would be cool or you know any sort of pattern that you want. Think about adding more detail, even on his spikes. You could like double those lines or you could add, you know, curves coming across his body here and there for patterns. There is absolutely no right or wrong. I want you to be as creative as possible with these dragons. You guys have all seen pictures of dragons. They are all so different and they're so cool to see all the differences, okay? So really think about that. If you have room and you wanna add background, Definitely. You could do like a little castle far away in the background, or he could be close to these this rock, like these guys are on these rocks, kind of looking out over the kingdom. You could do something like that. So I really want to see you get creative with your scales, with your patterns and designs and colors. I cannot wait to see. And of course, as always, I do not want to see one solid color, boring dragon. Take your time. You could do the wings a different color, the belly. The, um, be sure to add, you know, some texture with the scaling and make different colors with the scaling and pattern. Super fun drawing, guys. Have fun with it. Get creative. Have fun. Don't forget to take a picture so I can see your gorgeous work, okay? So, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I can't wait to see your dragons. I love y'all warriors. Bye.